Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're playing around with the new casting Max Steel casting rod. And guys, this actually comes into different flavors. It has both casting and spinning. They actually come in twin tips. Right now, I am using their very, very lightest version, the ultra light and light version. So basically, this is a BFS rod. Now, if you guys don't follow me, last year I actually talked about sending a letter to Casting and asking them to join into the BFS realm. Basically, ultralight bait casting system. I wrote the letter to them in the end of 2018. In the summer of 2019, they actually sent me a prototype of the BFS Mega Jaws, which, uh, by the way, guys, we don't want to focus too much on this reel. You guys can check out the card in the top right-hand corner. Uh, this reel won't be in production, it's just a prototype, but potentially there will be a real BFS reel from casting coming out soon. However, the star of today's video is gonna be this guy here, the Max Steel, okay? There's two tips on this. I'm gonna start off today fishing with the ultra light and potentially might switch to the light version. I have to paddle back because I'm on my kayak, but this is a crazy ultra light casting rod. I'll be throwing stuff very light. I have right now a 16th ounce jig head and a small swim bait. And uh, I believe I weighed this yesterday and it was uh, 2.6 grams for those who um, use a metric system. By the way, guys, bait finesse system is very popular in Asia, Russia, and uh, South America. They use grams, so it'll be very fun throwing this guy out. So here are the specs for this rod. It's 1.8 meters long. For the ultralight version, it supports two to eight pound test line. And for the medium one, it supports four to 12 pound test line. For the ultralight tip, it throws one to eight grams. And for the light version, it throws from two to 12 grams. This two piece rod have eight guides and they use six guides. So very smooth ceramic uh, guides right here. For the end pieces of the ultra light, light version, it's actually a solid tip, not a hollow tip. So it actually have a lot more sensitivity. This rod bike features the 24 ton cast flex um, technology, which basically they use um, the carbon fiber that wraps in multiple different directions and also they use a specific nano resin that is super duper strong, super flexible. And since uh, this specific resin is lighter than your typical resin, you could technically have a very light rod with a very, very strong bond. It allows me to cast lures very easily as well as reeling those fish. It's gonna let that rod bend. This two piece rod actually uh, features their power transition system. You actually don't put the whole thing in all the way. As you saw here, only Leave it right here, which is approximately one, one half centimeter long. Let me pull it back out for you guys. See that? Put it back in. Just get it nice and snug and that's it. You don't want to jam it in all the way. You will damage your rod and it's going to be nice and snug. And this specific design uh, is not really new. It, it was in the fishing industry. It's probably more new within the uh, casting and spinning side. But the fly fishing world, they've been using uh, this type of style and actually transition sensitivity very, very good. So actually having this style is actually a very good feature for two-piece rods. It uses EVA foam split grip that helps reduce a little bit of weight right there and it's very comfortable since it is ultra light. You want a very light setup to cast the light floors and uh, it'll be less fatigued throughout the day. So guys, let's get out there. Let's do some casting and fishing and let's get some hookups and see that rod tip bend. All right, guys, let's play around with the first cast. Ooh, 52 degrees. I like it. Let's cast it out there. Okay, that's pretty darn far. Now I have six pound test line, so it's uh, it doesn't go as far as my four pound test line, which I usually throw, but I want to throw some cool lures later too, some heavier lures. So I want to up it just to ensure that I'm protecting my expensive lures. Got some jerk baits. I've got some uh, mini crank baits and those can be really, really fun. But man, those few casts right there, Pretty good. The wind is kind of picking up already. Let's see if we get some good hookups. I really want to see a rod to bend. Wow, look at that. That went out pretty far. I set up the brakes pretty high right now, so I won't get the, the true distance that people want to see here. But I want to say, so far casting out there, uh, the flexing of the tip is really good. It allows me to sling the lure out pretty darn well. Uh, that's, that's good distance for a 2.5, 2.6 gram uh, total weight lure. Oh, first fish, guys. Look at the rod tip bend. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Look at that crappy. All right, all right. There we go. Look at that nice black crappy. Super sweet. Take my degouger because it's uh, easier to unhook. 
All right, check that black crappie out. Let's put it back in, catch some more. Oh, that was a nice hit. I can feel the boom. Oh, they're nipping. They're nipping. I might have to put on a float, but uh, the rod tip is pretty sensitive. I was able to feel it. I can see the actual rod tip jump. I don't know if you guys can see it from uh, uh, the GoPro. But oh, oh, that, that happened again right there. I'm just reeling in. Boom. Got him this time. Got him. Oh, let me turn on the, the drag a little bit. This one's a little bit better. <laughs> this is. This is a good one. Look at that. Another crappy. Oh no, it came off. <laughs> but guys, there's a lot here. So we're gonna keep casting. We will try to get a few more right off here. I mean, if they're nipping like that, I'm looking at the uh, water. I do see it. Oh, dude, I just cast it right out there. And there's another one. Look at that, he's shaking so crazy. Try to shake off that lure. But guys, we got them. We got them this time. And I switched over to the shark truce jig head color and also shark and black truce plastic because the water here you see is pretty uh pretty stained. But man, this is so much fun. I mean look at my screen, it's it's full of fish. I'm having a blast doing these pre-spawn crappy fishing with ultralight fishing right here, ultralight style fishing. Got my max steel, max steel baby. Do a few more casts right here. I'm sure they're gonna smash in a few seconds, but my screen is it's full. There's action everywhere. I just got a few hits there. Let me throw out further. It could, uh, they could be just a little spooked by me paddling around with my kayak, but kayak is very stuffed. I could be very close and get them like that. Look at that. Another one. Oh, yeah. This is so much fun. Oh, came off. Let's keep going. I'm sure there's like a thousand more over there. Oh, there's another one. You see that? Boom, got him. This time I set the hook. A lot of times lean back a little bit, but this with the stiff rod and the paper mouth uh, bass here, we call them paper mouth bass, it's because they're so fragile. You can set the hook easily, but then again, it's like a double edged sword, right? Like if you, if you uh, don't keep the tension on enough, especially when it's by the kayak and trying to lip them, you might have them flop off. So let me just get this guy out of here and back fishing we go. All right, let's throw him back in. Let's try a few different other lures, shall we? Let's try to open water a little bit. But potentially the bigger fish are just a little further out, but we have a wall right there behind me. You guys see it on the other screen. Oh, got a hit right there. And uh, I think they like the warmth. They go up there with other small uh, zooplankton there. Smaller fish feed on the zooplankton and that's where the crappies are at. Oh, boom, got him. Oh, oh, is, is this a bass? I'm gonna have to put the drag just a little bit more. Oh, man. This is a good one. What do we have here? Dude. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I'll put the drag down just a little bit. Whoa, you see this rod tip bend down, guys? That's a crazy rod bend. Wow. That's a big pickerel. Oh man, he's gonna cut my line likely, but it's a big fish. <laughs> Look at that. First pickerel of the year. My screen is full of fish. I gotta get this guy in. All right. Look at that rod tip bend. He's pulling my kayak, guys. Oh, man. All right, let me just do a little, just a little bit more drag. Gotta finesse him in. If he wants to swim, I'll let him swim a little bit. But I really, Pretty am scared right here because uh, there's a couple trees and you swim in the trees and shake it off. You know, he'll cut the line very easily. 
So maybe I'll just tighten them back up just a little bit. Mm, all right, get them up. Come on. Man, he is, Woo. This is when I wish I have a net. Oh, holy smokes, boys and girls. Oh, oh, oh. All right, keep it up, keep it up. What? Oh, man. Guys, I can't believe my GoPro was not running, but this is crazy. I got a big picker on. I did have my phone on right there. But you guys see him right there, right? He's freaking huge. Oh, look at the rod, Ben. I definitely, definitely have that this time. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, boys and girls. Give us up a little bit of line here. Oh no, he's still going. He's still, he's still diving. Look at the rod to Ben, boys and girls. This guy making my, making me work. All right, let's see if I can get him in. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh, he's running, but I still have enough line, right? All right, let's finesse him in a little bit. <laughs> Look at that. He is thick. 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 Mm. Look at that. Oh, guys. Oh, man. Mm. This is amazing, guys. All right, let's see if I can unplug him, but whew, don't, if he flops on me. Oh, there we go. Wow, guys, this thing is humongous. Thick, it's probably pre-spawning too. It should be laying eggs soon because the water's pretty, uh, it's getting pretty warm. So let's put her back in there, let her go for another day. Holy smokes, guys, that was so much fun. All right, the next lure I'll be throwing is this little micro crankbait. It's a, uh, I believe one and a half inch and it's one eighth ounce, which is a uh, three grams. So this is a very fun lure to throw on light and ultra light casting. I'm just gonna use my ultra light tip and whoo, that's, that's a good cast, good distance right there. Oh, all right, so I just need to slow down my retrieve so I could dive. Let's get back to that point over there. That point was pretty crazy, it had a lot of fish. Keep throwing right there. I could probably troll with this too. That would be pretty fun. Trolling it, slow pace. All right, get to the hot spot. Hot spot was right around here. Oh, I got a hit. I got him, got him. Oh yeah. Got a crappy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. All right, Mr. Paper Mouth Bass. Whew. Let's unhook him, one there. And his tool helps a lot easier. There we go. Woohoo! Back in you go. Oh, dude, he just smacked me right here. We're not a pickerel. Oh man, it's a pickerel day. It's a pickerel day. Oh man, look at, I don't know if you guys see it from my phone. I have a camera right there, but my rod tip is bending like crazy. Look at that. That's a, oh no, he took it. <laughs> guys, when it comes to pickerels, they got the teeth, they got the weapon. And that was like my third cast throwing. That uh, Euro Tackle Z, uh, Z Crank. Man. 
The last lure I'll be throwing today is a 2.5 gram golden spoon. Very simple, but in a bait finesse system world, ultralight bait casting world, a lot of people do throw spoons, small cranks. I want to throw stuff that's similar today. So I think I completed pretty much all the stuff other than a, a jerk bait. Jerk bait costs a lot. I don't want the pickerels to steal my jerk baits. Uh, spoons are very popular in the bait finesse world. So let's just throw it out there, let it flood a little bit. Cold water season, man, everything loves the spoon too. It's flashy and you get pretty good distance casting because it's very compact, very dense. A lot of flash, boys and girls. A lot of flash. Aha, got one right in the open. And whew, spooning for slab crappies. Look at that. Bam. This is fun, guys. This is so much fun. Damn, that beaver chewed the crap out of that tree. Well, hopefully, we get some more structures for... Oh, got something. <laughs> what a slab. That is the biggest one of the day. Look at that. Holy smokes. That's a big one. Go Max Steel. Ha <laughs> ha. So guys, there you have it. The first impression of the Max Steel, the ultralight casting rod. I haven't used the light tackle tip today because the wind is picking up and if I head back, I'm done for the day. But I'll definitely, definitely do another video. So on a little heavier lures and potentially same light lures with the light lighter rod tip. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I've left a link below to AliExpress where they are selling this rod. Casting have an official storefront on AliExpress. So you guys check that out. And sometimes there's sales, especially in the springtime. I believe in March, there's a super sale on AliExpress. So likely you get a nice deal for this. Or if you guys want to try other, their, uh, other rods that's sold in Asia and uh, other parts in the world, make sure you guys check that out. But guys, I had so much fun throwing this rod today. I definitely uh, will be throwing this rod a lot more and I'll be testing the light tip eventually soon. So make sure you guys stick around for that. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, tight lines, the fish don't wait. Get out there, throw that BFS, it's so much fun.